Yay Star P Series PBX now supports Facebook integration. You can officially integrate your phone system with Facebook Master as a digital channel of your contact center. In this video, we will walk you through the integration process. Make sure you can successfully integrate the P Series PBX with Facebook. Now let's get started. Facebook is supported by P Series Appliance Edition, Software Edition, and Cloud Edition. So as long as you have subscribed to the Enterprise or Ultimate plan, get the FQDN activated, and your PBX is up to date. As you roll, please check the link in the description for the document. Now we start by creating a Meta app. Log into the Meta for Developers portal, and then click on My Apps. Here we click on Create App. Select the Meta Business Portfolio and move on. In Use Cases, we go for Other and choose Business in Type. Then we complete the app details and finish by clicking on the Create App. Now we set up the app we just created. First, and on Add Products to your app page, find Messenger and click on Set Up. Now we need to connect this app to our Facebook page. Scroll down, find the Generate Access Token section and click on Connect. Then we assign our account and choose the Facebook page that we want to integrate. Click on Save to confirm. Refresh the web page. And then we click on Generate to get our token. Click on I understand and copy that token. Then we also need to note down the name and ID of our Facebook page for after. Now we need to gain the secret key for the Meta app as well. On the main menu, find App Settings, and then Basic. Here we can click Show to get our secret key and copy it down. Now that we have everything ready, we can go to create a Facebook channel on PBX. Log into PSERIS PBX Admin Portal and find Messaging. Click on Message Channel. Here we can add a Facebook Messenger. In the Authentication tab, we can name the channel and put in the Access Token, App Secret, Page ID, and name we obtained from the previous app. Then don't forget to copy the webhook URL and verify token as we have to put them back in the Meta app later. Now we can go to Messaging Settings to set up how we want to use the channel. We can assign a specific extension or a whole message queue to deal with incoming messages from this channel. Also, we can have the system close interactive sessions automatically after session timeout. Configure here as needed. When we're done, click on Save. Now we can move back to Meta to set up the webhook. On the Meta for Developers portal, find the app and go to the Master API configuration page. Click Configure in the callback URL we put in the webhook URL from the last step, as well as the Verify token. Then we click on Verify and Save. Now we go to Manage and Subscribe Messages. Then we move on to the Generate Access Tokens section, click on Add Subscriptions, then choose Messages, and then Confirm. Now the Facebook channel is configured and connected. For the last step, Meta requires third parties to submit approvals for integration. The whole process typically takes within one workday if all details are verified without any issues. To help you get through the approval, we have prepared a document to guide you through the process. It covers everything from materials you need to prepare to exact wording to describe the purpose and functionality of your application. So, if you're new to the process, please refer to the description of this video to get the manual for submitting the app to Meta. We also attached an official best of practice, so you know exactly what Meta wants. Hope these materials can be helpful. Well, that was all we have for the integration. Hope you guys like it, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Thank <music> you.